Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa and on this channel I create budgeting content, planning content, and side hustle content. So if any of that does sound interesting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, follow along onto my journey of paying off a really a lot of student debt and right now I'm on a journey into buying a house. So we have a lot of stuff going on over here. As a single income, it's just me, I don't have anybody else. Um, working towards these, I guess, the game of life, as I've been referring to it lately. So let's talk about the second two weeks of January. This is January 15th through the 31st. Um, I am getting caught up on all my videos here, so you gotta bear with me as we go through all of this. I feel weird, like just jumping ahead and skipping ones. So I'm just posting this. This week it's January, next week it's February, then we'll be caught up with March, and it'll be great, and then April, you know that you know the months of the year. So let's start with the income. So income, I don't know why I put 0.5 right there. Let's just ignore that. But W2 income was exactly as predicted, 1,819. And then side hustle income was 400. Savings, I pulled $2,513. You'll see that why as we go through the process here. And then payback or like Facebook marketplace. I think that's what that was. I had a total of $879 paid back to me. I now know why I did the 0.5 is because it would add up to a round number. So giving me an extra dollar. So that gave us $5,612 for our total inflow for these two weeks of January. I'm using this as just like a ruler guide here. This is that little thingy that like, you know, comes out that I find really annoying. Anyhow, moving down to fixed expenses. So we had 400 for rent and utilities. I think all of this was budgeted exactly, except for what, this Merrill Roth and the adjustment. Oh yes, we gotta talk about the adjustment. So 400 for rent, 100 for utilities, 11 for Spotify, we did really great. Student loan, 300, perfect. Car insurance, 65, boxing gym, 93, LA Fitness, $50. Merrill Roth was 50, therapy was 25. So I think I thought we I had an extra Monday in this February, excuse me, in these two weeks of January. Oh my gosh, but I didn't. So that was $25 less. And then something was off in my numbers, like from the last budgeting period. I don't know where I was wrong, something, but I ended up just marking an adjustment on my budget of $4. So at the end, I wasn't like off, but this didn't really go anywhere. So total fixed expenses ended up being $1,098. If you take the 1098 mindset from our inflow total you get four thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars and then we're going down to grocery or very, i guess variable expenses first starting with four thousand five hundred fourteen grocery was way higher than it needed to be i can't believe i spent 271 dollars that's insane eating out though we did really good at only 29 dollars Gas and car was 37 bucks. I only filled up once. Investments was $3. That was an unanticipated expense. Fun entertainment, zero. Holiday, we did really good. Um, we were under only at $239. Self-care was $50. Miscellaneous, $112. Ugh, I don't even know what I spent money on. But it was something. It was something. That was basically, what is that? $50, $62 over budget. Travel and vacay. So, Actually, why so much was pulled from savings is I booked a vacation. Guys, it's way more expensive than I thought it was going to be between it's like an all-inclusive and the flights. I was like, oh my gosh, like we, I guess I'm adulting now when you pay for like the nicer things in life. I'm going with friends who are like, I don't know, two of, two of my friends are like 10 years older than me, some even a little bit more. Great, love them, great gals. And then my best friend too, she's um, more at the same age. So we're both like, oh my God, like we didn't really realize the total expense this was going to cost, but I had been saving for vacations. So that really, really burned. I'm not gonna lie, it really burned. Um, so that, and then pets, I've got like a million pet expenses for my cat, $792. So the total, this is where like literally the bulk of the income went was variable expenses was $3,986. And that's why I had to pull so much from my savings because it's like, well, I got to pay this stuff off. Like I can't just not pay for these things. 
I mean, maybe the vacation I could not like have gone on it or choose to go on it. But I mean, I literally haven't been on a vacation for me that's like relaxing in, I don't know, a year and a half. Like most of the places I go are like with other people for their things or it's to celebrate something for weddings, birthdays. Like it's not really just sitting around and relaxing. <sighs> so, sorry guys, I'm yawning so much. It's the end of my day and I'm exhausted and... I really want to get this video filmed because I'm trying to get it uploaded on time. Um, so if we go continue down the process here, right? We started with 400 or excuse me, $4,514. We had 3,986 total variable expenses, which should have left us with 595.28. Gosh, I feel like as the take goes on, I become more and more like dyslexic or something. Um, okay, so 528, I ended up not putting money towards my sinking funds because you but you guys know the rule right you know the rule all side hustle income goes towards seeking funds but I had a lot of credit card debt to pay off and I had this overly expensive vacation that got booked so I had to pay for that so I just skipped this completely no sinking funds but if you go down a extra debt I did put 345 dollars so 110 more than I budgeted to my Alaska Airlines credit card and then for the discover credit card it was 106 and I'm realizing I don't think I actually finished closing out this budget. Um, I wonder if I can figure it out. But I had $77 left over. Let's actually, I don't have my erasable pen, which sucks. I have it. It's in the other room. But let's go back to the, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. This is probably where I messed something up and my math didn't math. And I was way over and something happened. $77. I try to look for something that's like a close number. Like, what did I miss? I don't think there is anything. Maybe this, the safety deposit box, but I already calculated that in the miscellaneous. I don't know. And I'm honestly too tired to figure it out. Um, this was the first two weeks, which you can watch the video up here. Second two weeks, let's finish it off. I probably like didn't know where the $77 went and I just kind of gave up at the end of closing it out I mean this was like two months ago that this happened so I'm trying to remember but I don't know but my checking account ended at zero so it went somewhere I just didn't account for it uh, where I added something up wrong um yeah so I think in February I I really do just like always start at zero no it's like a clean slate every pay period it's a clean slate like even if we're over or we're numbers are wrong like I really just use this to try to keep on track as much as possible and like know how much I'm putting into savings. But it's like, I am okay. And I know not everybody is like if the numbers aren't mathing, but the checking account is still zero. That's okay. Like it went somewhere. Hopefully it went towards something fun or savings probably is ideal. But I am personally okay with it just being it is what it is. I probably just added forgot to add a expense like on the expense tracker in terms of like when I was doing my calculations not that I forgot because my expense tracker if you saw it ended at zero so yeah I don't know I don't know what to tell you um sometimes I'm really really good and sometimes I have 77 dollars that wasn't accounted for in my budget closeout but was accounted for somewhere in my checking account so we know it went somewhere we just don't know where it went and that is the mystery I'm gonna leave you with but enjoy the rest of your day wherever you're watching this video and I appreciate your support. Please give this video a thumbs up, please, 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 and subscribe. It does help my channel and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!